In October 2018, Chinese media announced that the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, would publicly unveil its new H-20 stealth bomber during a parade celebrating the Air Arm's 70th anniversary in 2019. Only three countries have both the imperative and the resources to develop huge strategic bombers that can strike targets across the globe, the United States, Russia and China. Strategic bombers make sense for China because Beijing perceives dominance of the western half of the Pacific Ocean as essential for its security due to its history of maritime invasion, and the challenge posed by the United States in particular. The two superpowers are separated by five to 6,000 miles of ocean, and the United States has spent the last century developing a network of island territories such as Guam, foreign military bases in East Asia and supercarriers with which it can project air and sea power across that span. In aviation, the H-20's manufacturer, also builds China's H-6 strategic jet bombers, a knockoff the 1950 SRS Soviet 216 Badger which has recently been upgraded with modern avionics, aerial refueling capability and cruise missiles in the later H-6K and H-6 Jules models. Beijing could easily have produced a successor in a similar vein, basically a giant four-engine airliner-sized cargo plane loaded with fuel and long-range missiles that's never intended to get close enough for adversaries to shoot back. While China's development of stealth aircraft technology in the J-20 and J-31 stealth fighter was an obvious prerequisite for the H-20 project, so apparently was its development of the hulking Y-20 chubby girl cargo plane which established the company's capability to build large, long-range aircraft using modern computer-rated design and manufacturing techniques, precision technology essential for mass-producing the exterior surfaces of stealth aircraft. According to a study by Rick Zhou at The Diplomat, Chinese publications began speculating about the H-20 in the early 2010s. Postulated characteristics include four non-afterburning WS-10A thigh-hang turbofans sunk into the top of the wing surface with S-shaped sawtooth inlets for stealth. It's worth noting that the WS-10 has been plagued by major problems, but that hasn't stopped China from manufacturing fighters using WS-10S, with predictably troubled results. The new strategic bomber is expected to have a maximum unrefueled combat radius exceeding 5,000 miles and payload between the H-6's 10 tons and the B-2's 23 tons. This is because the H-20 is reportedly designed to strike targets beyond the second island ring, which includes U.S. bases in Japan, Guam, the Philippines, etc., from bases on mainland China. The third island chain extends to Hawaii and coastal Australia. In a U.S. China conflict, the best method for neutralizing U.S. air power would be to destroy it on the ground, or carrier deck, especially in the opening hours of a war. While ballistic missiles and H 6 bombers can already contribute to this with long range missiles, these are susceptible to detection and interception given adequate forewarning. A stealth bomber could approach much closer to carrier task forces and air bases before releasing its weapons, giving defenses too little time to react. An initial strike might in fact focus on air defense radars, opening the breach for a follow-up wave of less stealthy attacks. The H-20 will also likely be capable of carrying nuclear weapons, finally giving China a full triad of nuclear-capable submarines, ballistic missiles and bombers. Though the H-6 was China's original nuclear bomber, these are no longer configured for nuclear strike, though that could change if air-launched nuclear-tipped crews or ballistic missile are devised. Beijing is nervous that the United States' limited ballistic missile defense capabilities might eventually become adequate for countering China's small ICBM and SLBM arsenal. The addition of a stealth bomber would contribute to China's nuclear deterrence by adding a new, difficult to stop vector of nuclear attack that the U.S. defenses aren't designed to protect against. Some Chinese publications also argue that the H-20 will do double duty as a networked reconnaissance and command and control platform similar to U.S. F-35 stealth fighters. This would make sense, as China has developed a diverse arsenal of long-range air, ground and sea-launched missiles but doesn't necessarily have a robust reconnaissance network to form a kill chain queuing these missiles to distant targets. 
Theoretically, NH-20 could drill the head, spying the position of opposing sea-based assets using a low probability of intercept ASA radar, and fuse that information to a firing platform hundreds or even thousands of miles away. The H-20 could also be used for electronic warfare or to deploy specialized directed energy. Analysts forecast the H-20's first flight in the early 2020s, with production possibly beginning around 2025. If the H-20 is judged to be of credible design, the Pentagon in turn will have to factor the strategic implications of China's stealth capabilities, and will likely seek to field implement counter-stealth technologies which formerly have been mostly vaunted by Russia and China. The publicity which the often secretive Chinese government is according the H-20 also indicates Beijing's hope the bomber will serve as a strategic deterrent to foreign adversaries, even before its first flight.